We're recording. Recording. What up, everybody? Hello. We're at the same table. Yeah. We're in person. Yes. We're recording together for the first time in exciting. a very long time. It's mm-hmm. very exciting. <laughs> Welcome to Two Black Girls, One Rose. We're two black ass girls are finally invading a black dating show. Woo! Ready, Ready to, to love. love. I'm Natasha. And I'm Justine. And we are so hyped! Yes, so hyped to do a show. We're talking about Ready to Love. Mm -hmm. Now, we told y'all to binge watch season one. Yes. You still have time. You still have time. Mm -hmm. But we both spent the past weekend binge watching. The whole ten episodes. (laughs) All of it. From beginning to the reunion. Eleven episodes. Oh, yeah. Eleven Eleven episodes. Um, All, like, my entire Saturday night and part of today. All weekend. And it was glorious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a special hour. We both... So we've both watched this show before. Yeah. Didn't recap it. Didn't really talk about it. Well, we brought it up on the show, but then we rewatched it mm-hmm. in binge fashion. Yeah. Justine, what are your initial thoughts <laughs> of rewatching <laughs> and binging the show over the weekend? Um, I, especially coming off of, off of Bachelor in Paradise, mm. like coming right off of it, mm-hmm. it was just so good to watch this show. Um, seeing how men speak to each other about romantic relationships in a setting where they have their guard down is really interesting. Yes. Really, really good. And with Ready to Love, we have the men in their, like, cigar... Yeah, cigar lounge. Lounge, where they Mm -hmm. debrief every week, and you get, like, really inside what dudes be talking about. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And then they have, like, a mentor... At the head mm-hmm. of the conversation. Mm-hmm. So, it was good. Yes. Um, and I love that age isn't a factor for the women on the show. There were at some points where there were women in their 40s dating women, men in their early 30s. Yeah. And it was not a thing. No. It was never discussed. Never talked about. Like, oh, she's a bit older, mature. Like, those little yeah. words. Like, it's never brought up. That's a good, that's a good point. Some people said it at some points, but... It was never... I love that it was never a thing between the men and the women. Because mm-hmm, most of the women were older than... Than the men. Like, all of the men were in their mid-30s, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, also love that intimacy seems to be based on actual personalities, how people mesh, and real relationships, and not the physical. Yeah. And when you can build intimacy in that way, it's like building a friendship and like a real foundation for a relationship, mm-hmm. which is probably the best way to do it on TV. Mm-hmm. And which is why the couples at the end felt like real couples. Yeah. And you actually like, oh, they're for real going to date, yeah. continue dating and be a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Love it. Um, and then also, just a quick note, they never seem to say, we have something we just can't explain. I just can't explain it. I just have something with her. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know what to say. And then we never saw it. Like <laughs> how we have with every season on, Bachelor. on The Bachelor. Oh my God. That's true. So, yeah. You saw it. You understood it. Yeah. You mm-hmm. rooted for them. Yeah. You said, nah, that don't seem to work. Mm-hmm. And then they figured out, nah, this doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Like, it was very, it's very clear as day on Ready to Love, like, why people are connecting. The way right. They yeah. Unlike Bachelor. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, friend? I thoroughly enjoyed watching the show. I just, it just made me appreciate this show so much more. Mm-hmm. And just really sunk in how good of a show it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First and foremost, it is just a beautiful display of black excellence. Yes, it is. Like, as a and this is as a black woman who watches a lot of television, <laughs> mm-hmm. and still seeing an all black cast is still like jarring. Yeah, mm-hmm. particularly in reality television where it's it's just a rarity. Yeah. The cast of Ready to Love season one, they are beautiful, mm-hmm. mature. The women are all bosses. Yeah, accomplished, very accomplished. There's no actor model types. No, we had a uh, a woman with a PhD in business. Yep, we had multiple business owners. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had a VP of a bank. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Tiffany. And everybody was like collaborating. Yes, <laughs> there was a scene where Shataba <laughs> went to Shay's business yeah. to go do some business with her yeah. like it was just a whole kind of network of just pure black excellence yep. and then the men as well beautiful connecting beards mm-hmm. very mature <laughs> yes. grown ass like black men aside from Aaron who yeah, was just he's garbage. Um, but really knew how to like talk their feelings through as mm-hmm. you said 
respect and treat women, knew how to apologize. Yeah. Every episode, there was one of the guys was apologizing for something, for something. Yeah. and worded it so well that at the end, it was like a very mature resolution. Yeah. Like, no catty, crazy fights in that way. Um, the show really is just like an antithesis of like typical black stereotypes yes that you see That's often so perpetuated on other reality, reality shows too. yeah mm-hmm. um but this show is just so uplifting yeah and just yeah. such a beautiful display of just like black royalty <laughs> yes <laughs> really and success and just success. like overall success overall success yeah. it was beautiful um the other reason i really appreciated the show and rewatching it is they touch on some real ass dating themes, yeah. mm-hmm. like faced by everyday people. It just made it, it, just makes it feel that much more relatable. Yeah, because you're not watching, you're not having to suspend reality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like buy into this. Yes. Like you really are just watching people date in real life, or dead ass wonder what's gonna happen to them after the show ends. Yeah, like you, you, you get it. Yeah, <laughs> like you see the the issues that they're dealing with because you yourself has, have dealt with them. Yeah. Wow. But, like, a lot of themes about, like, texting, communication, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is a very real thing of 2019 dating. Yep. Um, dating when you have kids or don't have kids. Woo. Dating when you want kids and you don't want kids. Yeah. Or vice versa. Being friend zone, Dealing yeah. with a guy who is just feeding you bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, deciding when you want to be physical or not. Yep. That was a big thing with Ashley, mm-hmm. who did not kiss him until the last episode. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think the biggest theme is just you know, being a successful woman, particularly su- su- successful black woman, and dating mm-hmm. and like trying to find your match and like that was the that was the not the sad thing, but that was the very real thing about the show. It's yeah. like we both identify we're both successful women. Yeah, and there's a lot of successful black women out there who are single, mm-hmm. and dating is tough. And single who aren't settling, single and not willing to settle. Yeah, will remain single. Yeah, until they find would someone. Rather who be there. alone. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> would rather be alone. Yeah, than put up with any nonsense. Yeah, and so it's just so relatable in so many ways. Like. And, that, and even a lot of that doesn't have anything to do with me being black. It's mm-hmm. just being a yes. dater in 2019, being right. a young woman in 2019 trying yeah. to find love. Mm-hmm. So ugh, I just love this show. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. I loved watching it the second time around. Yeah. Um, before we get into our, so this episode is a top 10 yes. or 10 moments countdown mm-hmm. of season one. Um, so hopefully you binge watched it so you know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. But of course, we'll give a little background to each of the moments. Uh, but before we get to the countdown, um, quick announcements. Next week, we'll be doing, which is my personal favorite episode mm-hmm. every season, which is the cast bios. Yep. So we'll be dissecting the cast of Ready to Love Season 2, mm-hmm. um, digging through their bios, which are a bit min- more minimal. Yeah, but that Instagram is But linked. they have Instagram <laughs> links, so we're going to be digging into their socials. Yeah, which, which is we, more fun. Which is fun. We don't yeah. really do it on the cast bios one, not for yeah. all the, on The Bachelor, not for all the people. Um, so that should be really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then in two weeks is the premiere. So yep. season two premiere is Saturday, October 5th. We'll be dropping episodes every Wednesday-ish. Should we say this? We'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, that's a little taste of this week's episode. If you want to hear the full recap, head on over to patreon.com slash two black girls, one rose and sign up to get weekly recaps and other Bachelor content from us. See, See you next week. week.